G'day everyone, B Agent Day here. Today we're here to do the unboxing of the Microsoft Surface Dock. Now if you try to stick to then, add it as a bonus, you'll see me try and connect this to different external monitors with different configuration itself. But first, if you can help me out by subscribing to my channel, just to keep yourself updated on my uh, other videos I do, or just to help support me, would be much appreciated. So let's get to it. Okay, so just take that side off, this side off, push it through. Okay, go through here. Okay, there's the dock itself. It's not too big as you can see, it's just down this side here. Alright, we'll come back. We've got some instructions down up there, and down over here we've got the power cable here. Three prong, not two prong, and the box itself here, okay, and the power to itself. So of course this plugs into a prong down here, and then this plugs it directly into the thing. So, okay, so we'll have a look at what ports this thing has got. Okay, so. Okay, so the front here, it's got a nice feel to it too. A uh, very smooth finish for the top and the side is a little bit more velvet bitty. Uh, so at the front here we've got USB, two USB 3's. We've got the noble lock here. Power AC, Ethernet, speaker port, two mini display ports and another two more USB 3's at the back here as well too so there's nothing else pretty clean and this is the connection that it spits out to and this will plug into the surface on the side itself which will provide the power and also all the connections itself now this is magnetic which is good and it will work from Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and above as of current recording we're on Pro 6 at the moment. So here I've got the Surface Pro 6 and we've also got the Microsoft Surface Dock itself. What I've got connected to it is the USB keyboard and mouse. I've got the mouse plugged into the keyboard and the keyboard plugged into the dock itself. I've got a mini display port plugged into one of the monitors and another mini display port plugged into another monitor and just the power connected itself to itself. So now I'm just going to connect the to drive three screens, so two external screens plus its own self. So find itself which is fantastic. And there we go, so we got two external screens which will work fine for it, one and two. Excellent. Now trying to get the third monitor going through because the connection doesn't have more than three uh, for display we're going to use a mini display port for its side. Okay so now I can see I can see it detects all three monitors but it looks like it's only going to be able to drive two external monitors. I'm just going to try and enable it so you see it's disconnect display. I'm going to extend to this monitor. No it doesn't. It looks like it's only able to drive two monitors so I'm just going to keep changes. I'm going to try another one. Uh, duplicate one and two so no. It does not allow you to use free monitor itself. It's kind of is annoying but uh, in another video, I'll link up there and also in the description, the Dell D6000 was able to drive three external screens um, from the Surface Pro 6. So please check that out. It's probably more recommendation than the Microsoft Surface itself. Um, but there are one issue is it's not able to power up. Uh, provide power to the Surface, um, whereas this one does provide the power itself. As you can see, that's the limitations of the Microsoft Dock, not able to drive free monitors itself. But I do wish that Microsoft also included 
more types of different monitor connections to the dock itself, but I can see they're trying to make this thing quite compact itself. Anyway, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like, it'd be fantastic. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll catch you next time.